Do video games cost too much in 2024? Is the hobby of being a gamer becoming too expensive to maintain? Or do we just need to start being smarter with what games we buy and which companies we buy games from? What is up guys, I'm Big Cheese and in today's video we're going to be discussing all this and we're also going to be discussing how you can save money on video games moving forward. If you do like the video guys, don't forget to comment what your thoughts on the topic are below, like, share and subscribe for more. Okay, so we're going to be using the new Ubisoft upcoming title Star Wars Outlaws as an example here. Not just because the game's relevant and there's a lot of, uh, you know, news about it and it's quite a hot topic right now. This price format, though, is something we're more than familiar with over the last couple of years. So I want to talk about the standard edition in a bit more detail afterwards, but let's talk about the premium editions of this game. Okay, guys, we're going to start off with the gold edition. You get the base game, which is just $6.59.99 on its own and a pre-order bonus. The pre-order bonus is a cosmetic pack for your speeder and a cosmetic pack for your spaceship so it's a skin for your speeder and your spaceship okay um i'm not sure how much you use your spaceship in this game i'm not sure how much flying around you actually do we've seen footage of them taking off from a planet and all that stuff uh you know there's talk about that being a loading screen essentially so the, the spaceship skin could just be a skin you see during loading screens essentially for all we know um either way though you know it, it, it's not not much of a pre-order bonus really three day early access now early access is quite a controversial topic and people a lot of people think that early access just shouldn't be a thing i'm kind of on the fence with it because sometimes time off falls during the early access period and not during the launch of the game and if you're someone who really wants to play this game i'm not saying outlaws is something that i'm looking forward to playing and i would pay for early access if my days off fell on the you know those days but let's say it was like a game you're really looking forward to, like like the Elden Ring DLC or something like that. And, you know, the early access period is the week falls on your weekend off. You haven't got another day or a night off for two weeks. I can see why people would maybe pay extra for that. £25 extra is too much. Um, but yeah. And then the season pass is... Season pass in single players games is, is so wild. It, it, people are, people think like battle pass. It's not a battle pass. A season pass is like the DLCs moving forward. Now I've just confirmed here. So look, it says two DLCs that will release after launch. Keep exploring World of Star Wars Outlaws and all new stories, quests, areas to discover. The Jabba's Gambit exclusive mission available at launch. First of all, missions should never be locked behind a paywall ever. Shameful. And a skin for your character and your little companion, Nyx. I think that's the little companion you've got, okay? you get those at launch now at first i was like oh are those the two dlc packs so i did a little bit more digging and they're not here's what the season pass actually is you get the um jab of the hut mission at launch you get the extra skin at launch and then you get two more dlcs coming after launch so two additional narrative expansions coming after launch and then the day one bonuses you get are these things the jab of the hut mission and the skin now, £25 for all that. With with the two additional DLCs coming, it's definitely more justifiable. But personally, because the you know the, the day one things is just a skin and another mission, so essentially it's three missions and a skin for an extra £25. A lot of people would argue that's worth it, but I would say we really need to start pricing this stuff lower moving forward. I would say a fair price for this edition, the gold edition, would be 70 quid if, if, if it's 59.99 69.99 for all that you know for your for your two dlcs moving forward as well i think that'd be a fair price so moving on to the ultimate edition which you can get just by being an ubisoft member but we'll talk about that in a moment moving on to the ultimate edition another 20 pounds okay for we've already covered what this stuff is okay so you're another 20 pound for the rogue infiltrator bundle which is a skin for K, Nyx, at the speeder and the ship. And the same for the Sabak bundle. So two skin sets for you, your companion, your speeder and your ship. And a digital art book, which it says here, unique cinematic storyboards. So I don't know if that means like cutscenes and stuff. Um, but either way, it's digital. You know, it's not like a, a book you can hold in your hand. So an extra £20 for this stuff, again it's, it's just too expensive this is a story game once you finish with it you know okay you, you might do multiple playthroughs you might you, you might do two or three playthroughs there might be a hard mode there might be a, a new game plus you unlock afterwards i don't know it's pretty common in these in these games but that stuff is stuff you're going to be done with as when, once you once you're done with this game it's not like it's online stuff that you can run around you know showing off with your friends online like warcraft or or, or an mmo or something like that even call of duty you know you you play online every day 
so your skins and your operator it's kind of like you know people see it every day and if it's a game you're going to play constantly fine this is a single player game so this stuff once you're done with the game you're going to be done with it so it's just sitting there in the bloody matrix doing nothing whereas if it was a physical thing like collector's editions used to inc include a figurine and, a, and a, a physical book that you could keep on your shelf put in the you know put in the background keep, you know keep sell at a later date you know for a collector's edition people collect this stuff it would be way more worth it 114 pound 99 £114.99 is ridiculous. A fair price for all this, again, I said, I this I, I would say this £70 is a fair price for the Gold Edition. A fair price for the Ultimate Edition would be £75. You shouldn't be paying more than £5 for this stuff. But they want you to pay an extra £20. £20? That's, that's, it's, it's insane. Helldivers 2 costs £25. The full game, which I play most days. I, I just love it's, it's wild. This is it's just mental. And then, and then we'll touch on the ultimate edition that you get with the Ubisoft Plus. Ubisoft Plus is fourteen ninety nine a month. So you could argue you could sign up for a month of Ubisoft Plus, absolutely batter the game, beat it all, be done with it for fourteen pound ninety nine. Essentially, as long as they let you cancel it, uh, I'm pretty sure you can cancel it after a month. I haven't really looked into it. You know that that's a viable option, right? That's one of the options you you could save money on this game with. Um, and you also get access to, you know, all these games with Far Cry 5 in there, Go Freak On, you know, I haven't really looked into Ubisoft Plus because, to be honest, they've, I just, they, they've lost me. Ubisoft have lost me a while ago. But $14.99, if you've got the time to play Star Wars Outlaws enough within a month to finish it, um, you're good. But then don't forget, when they drop the DLCs, you're going to have to renew that membership to play, right? So let's say they don't drop the, all the DLCs in one month. So let's say they drop one the month after, one the month after that. You're playing four lots, three lots of £15. Um, you know, so £45 is probably the cheapest you're going to get away with playing this game for. £45 with all the uh, with all the trimmings. So I want to backtrack and talk about the standard edition last, okay? Is £59.99 too expensive? Personally, I don't think £60 is too expensive for a game, and I'm, I'll tell you why. There's a couple of reasons. Um, I remember games costing £30 like 20 years ago, you know? So the fact that they've doubled in price, if you go off what minimum wage is, minimum wage is more than double if you go off that. I understand that it's not necessarily the price of the games nowadays. It's the price of cost of living and all that stuff. I personally don't think £59.99 is too much for a game. Well, I do think it's too much for a story game still. I think 50 quid would be nice for a story game. 59.99. If it's going to be an online game you, that you've got the option of playing all year long, I don't think 59.99 is, is too much. And let's not forget also we've got options to get games cheaper now, okay? So CD keys, you can go and probably get the game cheaper. This is the CD keys website. So actually the standard edition is more expensive somehow. It's like... More expensive is a quid more expensive but the ultimate edition is 80 pound 99 is that the is that the biggest edition that's the big boy edition uh you can't actually pre-order right now because let's see here pre-order notify me when it becomes available for pre-order but the ultimate edition of this game is 80 pound 99 on cd keys is that for pc oh that's xbox how is the Ultimate Edition cheaper than the Gold Edition? £90.99. Is that a mistake here? I don't know, guys. Maybe head over there and see if you can pre-order it if you are buying this game. But Either way, CD Keys offers discounted prices on games a lot of the time. And if they don't offer the discounted price on the game, what they do offer is discounted price on Game Pass and... Um, xbox points you know um so like 25 pound gift card costs 22 pound 49 you can save a few quid and if you, so if you buy enough gift cards to cover the game you're probably saving yourself a few quid there as well which is uh, which is a viable option especially if, you, if you're buying that um but i'm that is a bit weird that the ultimate edition there is 80 pound 99 and the gold edition is 10 pound more expensive that must be some sort of mistake I would imagine this price is going to change come closer to release, but keep an eye on that, guys. Maybe if you if you're going to be, you know, buying this buying this ultimate edition. And then the last thing I want to talk about, guys, is something that wasn't available to us back in the day. You know, a lot of people talk about back in the day. You know, games were twenty nine ninety nine. They were twenty five ninety nine. 
um, you know, etc. I, I remember, I can't really remember. I remember games being forty pound, thirty pound. You know, I've been gaming for a long time, but a lot of the, uh, a lot of the time, people don't talk about game share. So I game share with my brother. If we both wanted this game, we would go halves, and it'd be thirty pound each, which is cheaper than any game. Like it's cheaper than everything. If you go hard, you go hard, you both get the game. You both get the digital edition. You can't do that with hard copies. So these digital editions, you you can split the price in half if you game share with someone. I understand that not everybody's lucky enough to have someone to game share with, but a lot of people got people they game with regularly. They got family. They got friends. So that's definitely an option there, guys. Don't forget about game share on Xbox and PlayStation. I don't think there's a, a way to game share on PC. If there is, let me know in the comments. But I really don't think there is. I'm pretty sure I've looked into it before. Even Nintendo Switch, you, you've got this family pack on there. It's like eight of you can share the games, if I remember correctly, which is mad. Uh, I did that for a while when I was playing Pokemon. Um, but game share is definitely a viable option, guys, if you need to save some money on the games. You link up with a buddy. Whoever buys it, you just got to log in as them, download it. You know, you can find YouTube guides on how to set it up. Definitely look into that because game share saves me and my brother a fortune uh, on these games. And then, you know, if you were going half on the Ultimate Edition, and the gold edition you've got to remember that only the person who buys the game gets all the the goodies normally normally it's only the person that buys the game so the person who doesn't make the transaction will have access to the base game they can download it but normally all the goodies and all the extras only come from the person who they only come for the person who bought the game if you are going to make any game purchases guys my cd keys affiliate link is in the description below click that make sure you allow cookies sometimes the games are cheaper through my link than they are on the website if you log in normally and it helps support the channel and if you did enjoy the video don't forget to comment down below your thoughts like share subscribe all that jazz and i'll see you for the next one